All right, what's going on, y'all? Hey, today I'd like to speak indirectly to one of the comments I received that um, I believe is very relevant to this transgender discussion on a societal level. It's important to look at and, and rightly think about and understand. Um, and I'll share what I, from my experience and my observations. Uh, basically, this, this commenter said that the uh, transgender issue is not a sexual issue. And I will agree with them to an extent, but I believe to leave that statement there in isolation um, and, and really just to make that, to take that position is not entirely true. Um, I've shared in a couple other videos that I've seen the transgender issue evolve and unfold in roughly two different ways in an individual's life, either in early childhood, identity issues that were void of sexual content, or in early adolescence when puberty and sexual desires are, are on the scene, those sexual fantasies and fetishes um, grow and mature into something that's um, an identity issue that ultimately these children and the adolescents, they both become adults who seek to transition into a female role. And so I do believe that this comment is really targeted at legitimizing the trajectory that begins in early childhood and this channel that I have here on YouTube is really to seek to inform others out there about the transgender issue that it is a moral issue that it's wrong I, I don't necessarily think it's important how we got to where we're at or ultimately why one decides to transition into a female role and you know whatever surgery or hormones accompany that um, I do believe that it's important that we should make a distinction in walking out of that. I believe someone's path out of that bondage um, that began in early childhood would be different than out of the bondage that I've experienced. Um, and perhaps the sexual element was more salient in my experience than in others. But I don't believe that we can get away from the sexual element because sexuality is so core to who we are as people. Whether it began in my life when sexuality was just a new thing and my sexuality was twisted from a young age and it led to an identity confusion um, or whether the confusion and identity began as a child which led to twisted sexual desires later on because that child is going to grow and mature into an adolescent and an adult. But I want to look at the fact that this transgender issue is a sin. Um, and there's just maybe different motives behind the two different trajectories that one might follow. And ultimately, the motive is not important. And I want to look at the, uh, an example of lying. I think we can all agree that lying is wrong. Let's say you have a man that's cheating on his wife after office hours and fulfilling sexual fantasies with his secretary. He goes home and he lies to his wife about, about whatever's going on. He's lying, okay? Um, maybe you could have a con man on the streets who's lying to get ahead. It's just a way of life, but he's lying. It, it's wrong. These are two different men who are lying for two different reasons, but ultimately it's a lie no matter which way you slice it. And uh, I believe it's the same way with the transgender issue. So I do think it's important that we make a distinction, but one is not more legitimate than the other. And so I, I really don't think it's that important how we got to where we're at when trying to come to an ultimate understanding of right and wrong. It's helpful in, in uh, walking out of that, the different ways that are unique to each of our stories. But ultimately, the reason I do make these videos is to share with others out there the gravity of the situation. You know, if God had not got a hold of me, I'd be out there on the front lines probably promoting the transgender agenda. I'd probably have a YouTube um, channel making videos uh, documenting my transition. I'd probably be trying to convert my friends to my viewpoint. I'd probably be speaking um, against people like me that are trying to shed light on this issue. And so really, there's no inherently anything better or good about me where I can speak uh, above anybody else or down to anybody else but I'm just a, a fellow pilgrim on this mysterious planet 
that has caught a glimpse of something and you know you know I say something but I I haven't I know God um, and I walk with him and he shares things with me and and I really just pray that there be others out there that might have an open ear to him because the only way any of us are going to walk out of this is with his help and so I'm continuing to walk out of this with you um, I believe it's something that God wants to fully deliver his people from he wants us to be sons um, mature in manhood and and praise God um, I've walked with him through many battles and he's secured many victories for me um, but I believe he's he's allowed me to experience many things I'm going through right now to perhaps be of help um, to others out there because I don't speak just academically um, I speak from experience um, it's not easy you know it's you know these videos I put out are kind of punctuated in different times of my life when I have a, a spare moment but day by day it, it, there's a battle that um, you know it, it's not something that is just um, I can just forget about and just coast on through life and live happily ever after there's a battle going on between good and evil and this just so happens to be where God has put me and uh, I'm, I'm just depending upon him and trusting him to finish the work he's began in me and I wish y'all well, and uh, may the Lord bless you.